Welcome, everyone. I just made that up on the harmonica. How you doing today? I'm going to do a, a quick uh, landscape here for you. I'm just relaxing. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It's a great night. I, I had to go to work. I had to go to the doctor today. Uh, let me lower this volume here. So I wanted to show you something real quick. I've been showing you guys how to put gesso on the back, that black gesso, and it it just keeps the light from getting through. If, if you're into that, I don't like the light to show through. Like, uh, maybe I can get this to do it for you. I'll show you what I mean. See, when I hold that up to the light, what happens the light gets through and it just it doesn't make the painting look good see so if you put the gesso on the back it'll look remain like this even in the sunlight if you're outside so that's why I do it but there's another way to tighten up the canvas without using gesso and uh, somebody a youtuber on my channel mentioned this that people just spray the back of this I found out if you spray it a little bit with water and then kind of rub it in with your fingers Just rub the water in it'll end up it'll feel like a, like a cloth like when you rub the water in there the water will get into the threads and by rubbing the water it, it pushes the water into the canvas and then that's all you got to do that much water and watch watch how tight this gets it's like a drum <laughs> ready to paint on so I'm just relaxing today I'm not gonna go fast I'm not gonna worry about how long this takes and uh, we'll see what happens I've been doing some of those uh, crazy <laughs> back there you see I got one that's going pretty good right now. I just put it on and it's like at 1400 views. There's the map. I got uh, two members already. Uh, you see it up there in Sweden. And then I got a member in the United States there. I put it in Florida, but I'm not sure where Ellie's from. I think it's in Florida. Yeah, it's in Florida. But Ellie will have to let me know where she lives, and then I'll adjust the pin. All right, I'm going to use a uh, an underpaint today. looking for my tape uh, I'm a little unorganized because uh, I'm moving things around I'm almost ready to move everything out of here and get the studio ready to go it'll be ready by this weekend for sure I think the tapes back here there it is. Okay. Yeah, I had a doctor's appointment. I went and got allergy pills. Because, man, the allergies have been killing me the last couple days. Right there, I got the chat up here. There's, uh... 
If any of you want to chat, that's fine. I'll talk with you. I don't care if you're not a member. Uh, members get more speedy uh, responses. <laughs> I'm going to use this cool, it's called Indian Yellow. I know a lot of you probably haven't heard of this uh, color because it's <clears throat> it's made by Artist Loft. It's called Indian Yellow. Okay, let's see where this is made. I'm pretty sure all these acrylic paints. This is made in uh, Irving, Texas. Okay. Most of your paints are made in uh, either France or the UK, but this one's made in Texas. It follows the, uh, it conforms to the uh, ASTM, so I'm sure it's non-toxic, so... I know that there's some brands out there that are really non-toxic. Uh, I forget the name of the one, but the one company. All right, I'm going to put in a, the underpaint now. What this is, it's called Indian Yellow. I'm just going to put a watered down version of, of it on the canvas, okay? It doesn't have to be heavy. This is just going to be the undertone, okay? And I think it's going to end up looking cool. It's almost going to be like the day I did the, uh, the green undertone for uh, St. Patrick's Day. So I can already tell if I leave some of this Indian yellow in the sky, it's gonna it's gonna light up the sky, man. I'll put some of this I gotta put a little more paint down on my I'll put some of the areas a little darker where I think maybe there'll be some trees and stuff. Uh, Indian yellow. I work at Michael's and they don't sell this uh, artist lot number three, level three anymore. They sell the level one and level two. I don't know why they got rid of this level three artist left level three. It's really good paint, man. I don't know why, unless they're coming out with a new brand, because uh, it was just recently. They took out the Artist Loft Level 3, and they brought in Amsterdam paint, which, to me, Amsterdam paint is almost like Liquitex. It's bottled in the same packaging and everything. It looks like Basics Acrylic. Uh, but they just have Amsterdam paint on it instead of Liquitex. You know what I mean? There's a lot of companies like that. They'll, they'll, uh, it's the same product, but they've put a different company name on it. And you think you're getting something different, but it's the same stuff. It's kind of like how the phone companies work. You know, you got all the phone lines that run all over the city, and then there'll be another company that rents the lines from, uh, them it's the same line but a different company so i think and that's how that amsterdam paint works i could be wrong but i know a lot of that paint some of it's uh, liquitex i think is made in france
a lot of uh, a lot of art in France. Lots of art. I don't think they have interest in American artists, though. Uh, I know India does. But France, no. They haven't caught on yet. They haven't caught on that America has some great artists over here. They will. We're buying their paint. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's the underpaint. Wow. Man, I love that golden look. You know what I really like when you when you mix a little like uh, burnt umber with this color. Look at this. I'll put a little burnt umber in here. Watch the color that you get. Man, I just I love that color, that look right there. Kind of watered down, but. Just these two colors together, like, well, yellow ochre and burnt umber, it makes a really nice golden color. All right, let me sketch something in here. I'm, I'm going to do just a simple sketch. I'm going to just put some mountains up here in a burnt umber with a little black in it. I'm going to put a little black in burnt umber. I'll show you my palette today. So burnt umber. I'm just going to, I got some black here. I'm just going to put a little black in it so it makes it a little darker. So I can sketch something up there. Now I put sap green here with black in it. Okay. But I, I put a little yellow in it too. This is sap green with yellow. Then I took a little bit of that and put some white in it. So essentially I have three different shades of green here. This the dark green is going to be for my trees and bushes. These will be for grass and highlighting. I haven't mixed these yet. Uh, I'm going to put some kind of white in there. In the burnt umber, yellow ochre, yellow. Uh, Alzerian crimson. This is the uh, Indian yellow which I use for the undertone, black and white, and this is, uh, this is a brilliant blue for the sky, I used it last week, and I really liked it, it was the first time I used brilliant blue for the sky, and, uh, man, it looked so good, it looked like a Seattle sky, when we get blue skies out here, when I do my gray like this, I, I put, I grab a little blue and put it in there as well in the gray for the mountains. I'm just trying to get it ready while I'm talking. Alright, I'm going to sketch something in here now. <coughs> Keep a rag in my left hand. Let's put a sketch up here with a knife. This is burnt umber and black. I'm going to have a, I'm going to put my mountains a little taller today. Like give them some peaks. Like some height. Which I don't usually do. It's harder to put the snow on when you got these uh, tall peaks. Put some distant mountains back here. And let's just keep going here like this. Maybe this one I'll, I'll keep this big one out front. Yeah. This will be the main mountain in front here. And I'll try and make them look like they're going off in the distance here. 
when I sketch it out, I'm just trying to get an idea now what I want here. So now I know, at least I know where my sky is going to be. <laughs> and now I got, I'm going to decide if I want a river, uh, a lake, or I can just put in some hills here and kind of see what happens, okay? So let me do that. I'm going to do a not so steep of a hill, maybe like this, like uh, we'll do uh, like they're kind of like cliffs coming down like step they're stepping down like this okay so it'll make it look like we're going up and then back down in the valley down there. Look at that. That looks so wicked already, man. That burnt umber on that Indian yellow. Man. You guys really can't see it. Uh, I mean, you can see it, but it just looks so good. This brown, dark brown on this light color. It looks pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to put a river in here. So that way I can drop some, maybe some water off these cliffs into the river. So I'm going to have a river coming from back here. And I'll bring it down here. And then maybe... Shoot it off this way here, like that, and then it'll come from back here, there we go, so the river will come here, down, and this is going to be I want this to look like there's a valley down there. So I'm actually going to have this water maybe come from up here. Off these cliffs. Like maybe a waterfall here coming down and then running down there. There we go. That's all I need. Because I, I'm not going to put any uh, bushes in. Because I know I'll put bushes down here with trees. That's all you need to sketch right there. To get started <coughs> man if you're just joining in this is Indian yellow the underpaint and it was really watered down I just put a thin layer on the back and I just sketched it out with burnt umber and black mixture just to get a little sketch all right I'm gonna start with the sky the mountain I'm just going to put a one coat of paint on real quick and then uh, then we'll start painting it. All right. So this is probably going to be uh I almost got the studio, it's a mess right now, but by this weekend, it's going to be all different. So, I'm using Brilliant Blue for my sky. Look at that. I mixed a little white in it to lighten it up a little bit, but I, I still think it's too dark. Let me see what it looks like up here. Man, that is, that's really blue. Let me step back and look at it. Yeah. So, I'm going to add a little 
white, a little more white to it because I, I think it's a little too blue for me. Too bright blue. <laughs> now, let me, I got to tone it down a little bit here. That'll work. That'll work. That's a little better. All right. Now let me put in, uh, I'm going to fill the sides in with some clouds. Yeah, I love the, I love painting in the evening time. I'll probably, uh, I'll do this painting and then I'll have a quick dinner. And then maybe think about doing a short video. I've been doing those abstract shorts. Some, some of the people like them. You know, it's weird. Uh, I think YouTube is testing my shorts out right now with uh, the younger crowd. And they know how to do that. They, they sent my last short to just people between, what, 18 and 24 years old. And... I got way more views that way. So I think what they were doing, they were just testing the waters uh, to see if these, the, the kids, the, the younger people want, really wanted to see like art shorts. I mean, it's pretty cool the way I make those. I, I, I do it like uh, time lapse video, and it goes really fast, and it ends up looking pretty cool. All right, there's my sky. Look at that. <coughs> So here's a tip. You see that I left that blue in the kind of in the center there. If you want to extend the blue out more, you just just grab more blue right now and just put it in there. Okay, wherever you want more blue, just like that. Blend it down to the way you want it. I'm going to come back in a little bit and put some white clouds up there. <coughs> All right. Time for the mountains. I don't even I don't even clean my brush off. I just I keep going with this same brush. This is a number 12 filbert. It's round on the top. I just keep going with it. I just grab the next color, my gray. And I'm going to uh, get my mountains painted in. I don't always do it this way, but this painting, what basically what I'm going to do is block in all the color first that I want. I'm going to block it in and then then I'll start designing the, the trees and the bushes and all that. I'll try and make these look more like hills.
There we go. I like that look better. What I did, I basically just rounded off the areas and it, it made it look a lot cooler, you know, cooler. <laughs> like I can bring this one now in front here. I can bring this one in front of the here. And bury that tall one in the back and just add different things in here now, see, if I want. Wow, I really like those mountains now. Grab a little white now and put it at the bottom. I just lighten up the bottom part now with titanium white. And I'm going to fill in this valley. I usually fill this valley in with one color. I'm just trying to pick a color right now. Uh, but I think I'm going to use that Indian yellow with the color it already is, but I'm going to add a little Alzerian crimson into it and see what that does. Add a little white. Let's see what color that I get there. down in this valley. Picking up some of the gray and pulling it down in here. White, a little titanium white. All right, there we go. There's my valley. I kind of like it. It's got a bunch of different colors in there. I'm going to lighten up the uh, front part of it, though. Look at that. Man. Wow, that's a cool looking valley. <laughs> I got gloves on today, so I can't play my guitar, so I got a harmonica. This is a Honer Special. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the river Indian yellow. So I'm gonna put these are gonna be these are gonna be little clips here. So I gotta decide what color to put in there. I think it's going to be, I got to put a burnt umber with yellow ochre in it. Almost like a yellow ochre. Let me see what it looks like. They're just uh, like gonna be dirt cliffs. 
coming down and then I'll put some grass down here probably gonna put some uh, trees up on top here though if you're just joining in I'm just getting my underpaint in I mean this is my undertone now I'm just getting the, the underpaint put in all the way down and then I'll start designing the, the painting once I get all my the color the way I want it. So I think I want to put grass here, especially around the river. So I'm going to grab some of the light green that I made and just put it here in the back, light green. And then I'm going to get uh, darker as I move forward. Put light green back here. Kind of blending it into that brown a little bit. Now I got a medium green. I got a green that's a little darker I'm gonna put down here and just block it in with that green there we go this looking good it's a bunch of different tones of green I like to uh, I like to get the tones going as I put it down so it just doesn't look like one color of green this is acrylic paint uh, I'm trying to make it look like oil paint as much as I can and uh, I'm trying to make it look r realistic I'm not trying to do anything like impressionism or anything. I'm trying to make it look realistic. In the future, I'm going to be doing more impressionism. But for this painting, I'm I'm trying I'm going for realistic, okay? Wow, look at those colors. I'm getting a weird weird look here you see this uh, something bleeding through I don't know if you see all that not sure where that came from it might be when I sprayed the back with water see how this stuff is it's there's something bleeding through the canvas I'm not sure what that is I've never seen that before it's blowing my mind because it, it's going all the way up here too oh you know what I bet this some a friend at work gave me this canvas and it was sitting in her house for probably a couple years and I bet it got messed up you know I bet water was dripping down on it or something because it's an old canvas that she didn't want anymore but look at that I've never seen that happen before it must have been when I sprayed it with water back there I sprayed the back to tighten the canvas up so that's why I don't like to use water I like to use the black gesso it it darkens up the back of the canvas all right well I gotta go on so can't worry about that let's 
going to be part of the painting now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put some snow up there. I'm going to do my snow pretty small today because I can see I can put a lot of different uh, peaks up in here. Vite! Watch this. Watch what I do with my knife. Really, really small amount of uh, paint on here. And I'm just going to hit different areas of this mountain up here with snow. Almost looks like I can have, you know, a lot of peaks up there. They're more like hills to me. These are more like hills, and then we got that one peak in the back. That looks cool. That's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to have one main peak here. And then these are just going to be little hills. Cool. I like that. I had a few people like the, uh, I did a short earlier of that stuff in the back there. I don't know if you can see it. That uh, crazy art over here on the right. And uh, people seem to like it. There was a few people that didn't like it. <laughs> uh, but. This is, I just made a light blue for this shady side. Yeah, that'll look good. It's kind of blue, but what I do now is just hit my, I hit everywhere next to white. Uh, wherever there's white, I'll put a little bit of this blue color next to it. Even if it's running down uh, sideways. You don't have to cover all the gray. Just use your, uh, your judgment how much blue you want to put on there. But those mountains, man, these are going to look so good. I can already tell because... I, I made the valley kind of big down here, and I made the peaks kind of small. So, and this blue, man, looks so good. It, I just come up next to my white and pull a little bit of this shade color to the left. Like I said, you don't have to cover all the, the mountain. Leave some of the gray in there. See? 
it'll uh, give the mountain more different colors. Okay. Wow. It's looking good. Take your time when you do the mountains with the knife. Just you'll get used to the the knife. Uh, it takes a while to get used to it, but once you get used to uh, how much paint comes off of it. You'll be able to do these mountains as fast as I do them. Wow. Man. <laughs> I can't believe how those good those look, man. Now you have to, what I like to do, I clean my brush off. I just cleaned it in the water and I dabbed it a little on a rag. And pull down on the bottom of some of this blue with a, a clean brush. Just kind of pull it down just a little to blend it. Get rid of the hard edge, okay? Just on the bottom part of the mountain, okay? Just get rid of the hard edges on that blue. You see how the edge looks hard here? Just take a, a wet brush and pull it down a little first and then lightly uh, go over it like this with a clean brush. Just blend it like this. like that what it does it gets rid of that hard edge wow <laughs> those look real don't those look like real mountains to you guys it's looking like sunlight I can't see that one word. Yeah, it's looking like, from here, it's looking like sunlight. Yeah, it does look like sunlight, huh? Wow. I really like it. I forgot to leave some of the uh, Indian yellow. I wanted to leave it around the mountain. To make it glow you can kind of see some of it there so I didn't do what I wanted to do because here's the one from uh, this isn't this isn't the st. Patrick's one but you see I left the underpaint around the top of the mountain here it makes it look cool and I forgot to do it on this one, but that's all right. Man. I really like those mountains. I really like them. I got a... I think I need to, I got a lot of room, I could put more, I just want to put a valley in here, that's what I'm going to do. There's a few things you can do here. Uh... 
we can I can follow this ridge here on this mountain here right here this hill and just keep pulling another hill down like this from there and on this one here extend them out like that and then I'll put a, a hill coming down this way and then put another hill coming down like this I think that'll work. Let's see what it looks like. I'm experimenting right now, so I'm hoping this comes out looking decent. We'll see. just a wet brush and I'm trying to get a blend on it. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Just created like a bunch of uh, ridges in there. I like it. I like it a lot. It, it makes this these mountains look further back. All right, now it's time to do the, some trees. Trees and bushes with a fan brush. Let me get my cliffs back here real quick. So I wanted to have like a ridge here and here and up here.
There we go. All right, cool. I think I'm going to make my water blue. I mean, because the sky is blue. I was going to make it gray, but I'll just put a little gray in the blue. But I want the river to be uh, blue, I guess. I'm going to put it in right now. I'm going to try and drop some water off these cliffs into the, uh, the river. Okay, not bad. There's my river. Okay, good. This painting's coming out pretty good. It's only been 53 minutes. I think if I get it done in 15 more minutes, I'll be happy. So I think what I'm going to do is put... Uh, I'll put some bushes here with a few trees here. This is my sap green that green with uh, black in it. I'll make some bushes here. Cool. trying to hurry because I don't want it to be a too long of a, of a video I'm trying to figure out where how big I want these things to be down here like my perception of the painting I 
Uh, do I want these to be trees down here or bushes? I think because this looks like it's all far away back here. So do these hills. I don't know. I think I'm just going to put some trees right a few right here let's see what that looks like so i'll put a few bushes here right in the corner and then uh i'm going to run an evergreen tree up here and see what it looks like There we go. Yeah, I think they're going to have to be dark. They're going to have to be really dark. Because, uh... I didn't lighten any of this up back here. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to make small trees, so. It's all right. I like making the big trees, though, but. good thing is I can make these small trees pretty quick pretty quickly <clears throat> I guess they look big enough I was hoping to get a big tree up into the sky you know that's what I was thinking I think this will have to do Okay. <coughs> kind of like it. Could still put trees back here, though. Just have to make them uh, distant trees.
That's how you do a quick trees. <laughs> I'm really going fast, guys. Sorry. I just didn't want to... I didn't want to have a... A long, long... Two-hour video. This is a two inch, not a two inch, a number two fan brush. I mean, you can do a lot with this fan brush. I just did all these bushes and trees with this brush. Man, still looks good. I'm actually going to do the clouds with this brush too. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to run a little, water underneath these bushes. I think I'm going to put a reflection in here today, just right here on these trees. Going fast. Let me see where I'm at on time. Just over an hour. I think I'm doing all right. I haven't checked the uh, chat. Is anybody talking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, the Pope. Daniel, how you doing? I just saw you guys. Sorry, I was so busy making trees. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'm not going to cover the mountains at all. Uh, I'm going to keep everything small. Keep those mountains far back. The only thing I want to do yet is... Uh, oh, the clouds. So. so, we'll have to make the clouds look cool if I don't have anything going off into the sky. So I'll make some of those uh, clouds that, like, uh, poofy clouds, I guess. So, let's see. I'm going to run. I can see these clouds already running from this way. This background noise, you see it in there? So I'm going to run a cloud behind this big mountain right behind it and then up to the side here like that uh, I'll run a cloud from here coming up to the side
Look at that. Wow. Those look cool already. Man, I really like those clouds. This is white. The white I'm using, believe it or not, is uh, this is level two artist loft uh, titanium white. Seems to be working pretty good. Uh, it's bright enough. The viscosity is good. And it, it 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 blends really nice. It I'm pulling it and it's still staying pretty white. So it, the viscosity is pretty good on that paint. <clears throat> they still sell that. They still sell the Sat Michaels. They got rid of the level three, but they still have the level two. And this white seems to work pretty good. I kind of like it. It's it's better than, uh, it's probably a little better than the Windsor Newton uh, titanium white. This white here, it's not as, uh, the, It's not as thick. The light fastness, they call it. It's really low. The viscosity. So I need some more clouds in here, though. Let's see. Looks good. Looks really good. All right, it's looking good. It's looking good. I think I could put a maybe a waterfall here. Let's see if I can if I can actually make it work. Yeah, that'll work. Looks like I can do one up here too. Ba -da -ba, ba -da 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 -ba. All right, guys, I think I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Oh, I wanted to put a shadow in or a uh, reflection here. I'll show you how I do it. I mean, it, it's, it's really simple. I just, I use the same color I used as, as the trees. And I, what I'll do is I'll touch the uh, trunks in like this first and obviously this is all going to get covered right so it's just going to be all dark color here pretty much you can make them kind of look like trees just make them like triangles uh I had a little bit too much water on that brush from cleaning it. That's all right. It doesn't have to be dark. 
you dry the brush off. It'll still work even if uh, it's not dark. It doesn't have to be uh, super dark. Just like that's good enough. There we go, a little reflection there. I like these trees, but they look kind of uh, like they're missing stuff in the middle. So I'm just going to add a kind of fill this in a little more. Make it look like a, like a forest coming down this hill here. There we go. Put a few highlights on these. Uh, What I did, I just put a little white in that same color. Just to give it some depth, you know. That looks cool. You could either highlight these with white or green, whatever you want. If you want to make them look like green, I'm just going to use the white. And just put a dress on them like this just to get the uh, dimension on them there we go it's looking pretty good uh, Try a little yellow ochre down here. All right, guys. I hope you I hope you like this one. That's about all I think I want to do on it tonight. I'm already at an hour and ten minutes. Let me get my liner brush. We'll put the birds up there. Gotta have the birds in there. Let's see who's in here. Daniel, how you doing? Valdivia, the Maestro, gracias. <laughs> Good work, thanks. I think my liner brush is a little dirty, but uh, 
There we go. Yeah, I didn't clean my liner brush just right. So there you go, guys. I'm glad uh, some of you were in here watching. Uh, It didn't, it turned out totally different than what I wanted. I wanted to have trees like going way up into the sky here, but I decided to make the mountains look far away, which they do. They look pretty far away. I really like it now, actually. I think somebody will buy this one. I think somebody will buy it. I'll, I'll fix all these trees and bushes up and I think it'll be okay. see who's in here the Pope awesome job thank you <laughs> the Pope <laughs> grazie yep gotta have the birds in there Daniel I like to put the bird I like to put a bird down here too like uh, like an eagle Flying off this way here. There we go. There's still a lot I could do in here. Uh, the mountains look good, but you could even make them look better by putting some dark color underneath the snow. It, it'll make it look really, really cool. Uh, but I'm already out of time. Out of time, guys. I'll do another one tomorrow. You can come back tomorrow and watch. But I kind of like the way this came out tonight. It's really far away. The... Uh, bubble zone that's the way to do it like uh, I like having the mountains look like they're way way off in the distance so right on thanks Pope <laughs> the Pope you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching, man. I'll uh, this will upload. If you missed the beginning, you can go back and watch the. Uh, I think it'll upload in about five minutes. So, if you missed the beginning, how I put the underpaint on and all that, you could go back and watch. But thanks. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I appreciate. Uh, any new members you know i really enjoy it so thanks for watching guys cheers we'll see you later good night